Uh, so I think I've participated in ACAMP for about the past five years. Specifically last year, it was the first time that we did it online. And actually, it was amazingly similar to the in-person experience. I was really quite impressed that the level of interaction between the people was, was still high and people were chatting and getting connected with new people as well, which I think is one of the, the big challenges for our community at the moment. And there were some great new topics that came onto the table. Um, it was definitely worth a couple of later evenings. Uh, so I'm my official title is computer engineer, which is very generic. Mm -hmm. And I support all of the identity systems at CERN. Uh, so the federated part is really just a very small fraction of what we do. But we also do the, the lifecycle management for all the researchers that come to the laboratory. So we have about 15,000 visiting researchers, as well as the 2,000 staff that help to, to run the laboratory, yeah. uh, such as myself. Uh, so we manage all of their digital identities in the, the concept and the, the space of, of CERN, and then the interaction of CERN with other identity federations as well. Who would you recommend signing up for ACAMP? Ooh. So a, well, Camp and ACAMP, in fact, TechX, was the first conference that I ever went to when I joined this community. And it was the one in Cleveland, I think. So it was about 2015. And for me, it was a really great introduction to the community. So I, th I would want to encourage junior people, people who are new to the space to come along. I mean, it was a complete bapt baptism of fire because my, my supervisor had signed me up to do a lightning talk and hadn't really told me because he didn't think it would be accepted. <laughs> <laughs> so then I had to prepare it the day before and present it with the tight time restrictions uh, during the conference. But it was a really good way to meet people and uh, to get to know people. And actually, I've used those contacts a lot just Maybe I'll just ask somebody for their opinion on something or a bit of advice, which technical direction to go in, which policy direction to go in. Yeah. Um, so I think for anybody who's looking to expand their network in the community, it's a really good way to, to get involved. Yeah, that's great to hear. You mentioned that you felt included in the community and you know, over the past year and a half, we've all struggled with restrictions on meeting in person due to the pandemic. You know, how do events like this um, help you gather when there are restrictions for in-person gatherings? So one thing I've, I've noticed is that because there are now restrictions for actually traveling, it's very easy for people to get completely focused in their, their local business, their day-to-day -day stuff. So I could easily fall into the bubble of CERN and then raise my head after two years and go, oh, I totally lost track of what the international community is doing. Yeah. And having points like ACAMP in the calendar where we can block time in, in our agendas so that we're really there and really participating, I think is really important because otherwise all the work that we're doing together and that needs to happen together in collaborations, it runs a pretty high risk of just stopping. How did ACAMP help you take on challenges with trust, identity, and security at CERN? So one of the big things that I've been working on is over the past few years is to highlight the requirements that we have for research communities, which are a fairly specific use case in terms of service providers in, in Identity Federation. And Internet2 has been fantastic at taking our our outputs really seriously. I think it was actually during camp itself that we had a, a session where I presented about the work that we'd been doing in, in this community of research collaborations, which is called FIM4R, which is Federated Identity Management for Research. And, and people really listened and paid attention and we could really, we felt very included as research communities. So that's, that's one very practical outcome that that so we as, as CERN and research communities in general 
have have very much felt included in camp and a camp which has been great yeah that's great yeah other topics that i distinctly remember uh, talking about instant response and how we want to do that and the interaction between the different national identity federations and people really do engage which is great did you feel that people were receptive to you when you spoke up and you had ideas oh yeah completely yeah yeah and it's, it's interesting how much, because some people, I mean, I've done it a couple of times, I've really gone with a topic that I know I want to discuss, and I've maybe prepared some material. But equally, there have been times when myself or a colleague, or maybe together, we've proposed something, we've prepared nothing, and we still come away with a very long Google Doc of concrete, useful input. Which, uh... <laughs> Thank you so much. It was nice to meet you, and hopefully meet you in person at some point. I would love that.